Hey everybody, welcome back to Midnight Suns. We've got a big mission here. Defeating heavy enemies is the goal. Uh, rare Gamma Coil and rare amounts of attack, skill, and heroic essences, which would be nice. Uh, we are taking out Doctor Strange. That's his, it's his mission. And we're taking out Iron Man because he's needed on two more missions to unlock the suit research that I really want. Um, at the end of the last episode, I ended up doing a couple things after I finished it. Uh, in the Hunter deck, I went ahead and replaced the Whip. I replaced that with Holy Gift Plus that we unlocked. And then I upgraded this whip here. And then I upgraded Mark Target on Iron Man. So we had an extra one. And now we could redraw this to add Marked to nearby enemies. I also upgraded Spider-Man's Chain Strike. And we finished the throw training. So things that we're chucking at enemies now in the environment are doing better. Also went around and grabbed some random reagents, nothing too crazy there, found a recipe book, and that's pretty much it. I ended up uh, salvaging one of the cards, one of the Blessing of Vishanti cards, to get skill essence, and then from the rest of the stuff that we found around the Abbey, I was able to do those other upgrades. So that's the update there. We have combo cards here. I'm going to take the Vampiric Essence, I think. I have enough healing cards on our Hunter, so I feel like this is pretty good. And uh, let's rock and roll, shall we? We're fighting heavy enemies. I did talk about, you know, taking Blade. He's got some very specific cards that deal with shields and stuff. Um, but I don't feel like we're light on damage with Iron Man. Hydro forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's so we'll down. see. I see what you're talking about. Okay. Blessing of Ashanti, not bad. Winds of a Tomb, not bad. Agamotto's Gaze, great. I could even... Okay, so I, I see our start. I, I think I see our start. One, two, three, four, five big boys. And four little boys. No, wait. Six big boys. Three, <laughs> three little boys. <laughs> Um, that sounds weird. Okay, so moving on. We got a couple of things that we can do here. Uh, Bands of Fire, I also threw into the deck. Um, this does knock back in any direction. I did this instead of the one that gives us a vulnerable. And it's slightly less damage, but the knockback is kind of cool. So, a couple things we could look at here. I could go into a, a Blessing of Vishanti. This would give the cards in our hand plus 9 damage till the end of the mission. Um, the downside is that there are not really any Iron Man cards in our hand. And I'm thinking what I could probably do here is set up some quick plays. We could do uh, one here to do that. And then we could do a Winds of Watoom on this guy to get there. We have a potential drop here for one, but I could also just use the box to finish him. Um, and then if I, use, if I use Blessing of Ashanti, those first guys that we're hitting are taking slightly more damage. It's just that those cards aren't like the best ones, I don't think, because I, I think Iron Man's gonna be doing most of our damage there. Uh, so I probably save that for when we draw a bunch of Iron Man cards. I'd like to finish the turn with Agamotto's Gaze, so a couple of quick slashes, then we probably go Bands of Fire, Holy Flame, and Agamotto's Gaze to wrap things up. I don't even think we need to force any redraws here so let's do it we also have a shove to play with the downside here obviously um all the heavy enemies oh nice level up there on big hunter love that love that okay and then we go... Do I just go wins here? To also get a little bit of damage? Yeah, I think so. This won't end well for you. I like where Iron Man is standing, because he could probably do the I kick that wasn't your signature move. from this. With two heroism. Now we play... Bands of Fire, Holy Flame, and Agamotto's Gaze. 
And then we we have, we're going to have a bunch of heroism. So we'll have, I think, three extra. We can slam the box down. We can kick this one if we want. This does knock back in any direction. Um, hmm. Who do we put this into? This is 70 damage if we want it. So I actually think we try to finish off this guy. So we go Holy Flame into Bands of Fire for the knockback, and then we don't even have to use the Heroism to use the box attack. I just wish we would have had way more Iron Man cards to draw, but next turn we're probably going to get all of them, so what are you going to do? Sometimes that's, that's the life. Oh, that's kind of like a whip action. Okay. Okay. I'm still going to save this. We're going to go Agamotto's Gaze. That's going to get us... Well, it's going to get us the two attacks. So one of the hunters, I believe. I, I can't remember if those are both skills. I think one's a heroic. Yeah, Holy Flame counts as an attack. Okay. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a skill because of the second part. Um, but either way, that's all right. And then, let's look at Iron Man before we use our shove. We could send this guy flying. It's not... Not amazing, is it? Not really. Um, Hunter can do something like this, so we can stun that guy. Strange would take two attacks, which isn't great. And then I guess I could kick this guy into something. Let's turn that off for a sec. Iron Man again, let me just look at this. Uh, another option here is we come slamming down with Iron Man for 30 damage here. And then we get the kick, f uh, the uh, knockback from the Hunter to do some damage and then stun him. And then he's in more of a... A finishing position for next time. Actually, we even have... We even have the box up top here. For two. That we could consider. Um, I wonder... What if I did this? So if I jump over... And hit him here... That's going to use one. Then I have a move where I can knock him in there. This would take him down to uh, 49. And then this would this would drop a bunch of damage on two of them. That does mean that the hunter will take two attacks. Uh, instead of being stunned here. But I actually feel like with the damage trade-off. To be able to clean them up next time. That's pretty good. This should be good. Um okay. So now we hit these. I wonder if that's going to even be enough. With that extra knockback. Uh, he doesn't look like... See, this is one thing that's a little bit tough. Is you can't really tell. See, like, now I can drop this. Right? And, and I think I still will, because it'll clear an enemy. But I kind of wish you could tell exactly where the enemy was going to land. For stuff like this. There's no redraw that will help me here, really. Um. So, yeah, sure, let's just not? do it. All right. Well, either way, we did clear someone. But this guy's not stunned. Uh, Hunter's going to get debuffed here. Probably vulnerable or weak. Uh, Strange could get dazed here, which isn't great. But we have four card plays coming in next. Iron Man should see some card draw here. And... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to redraw Winds of Watum. Agamotto's gaze. Maybe good, but depends how long he's dazed for. 
This could turn into Agamotto's days. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to redraw that as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. The Iron Man must have forgot his deck at the Abbey, because... So far, very slim pickings. Okay, there's the Vulnerable. You've made a grave mistake. I think I missed that the Hunter was getting attacked. Oh, no, no. We're good. We're good, we're good. I stand with the mother. Okay, we have some protection coming in. You can all join Lilith together. There's a surgical strike, which is quite good. I can redraw this to add forceful. We've got four card plays. Uh, he is dazed for two turns, unfortunately. Now we have attacks on Iron Man, Hunter with Vulnerable, and Doctor Strange. So this is a this is a concern for sure. I may have to heal here with the Holy Flame. Because I can't take this guy from 158. I could redraw this. And reposition somewhere over here. To maybe knock this guy into this area, and he's gonna he's gonna overload. How much damage? 37? I mean it's kinda nice to be able to put that much damage on all of them. That's not bad, but it kinda takes away from uh, surgical strike as well. Let's redraw the Winds of Watum. Okay, 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 okay. If I Holy Flame, that does get me one heroism. <clears throat> the other option is I use the Vampiric Essence. For healing the hunter we do the slash with the forceful knockback I could even I could do that same thing where I move here I still need to generate a heroism after that so because he's days two I'm not gonna play this at the end even though this does last the whole mission I don't think that's the play so I'm gonna redraw this as well Okay. This draws an Iron Man card as well. But now I have a, a really nice Surgical Strike. So the question is, do I go... Surgical Strike can put out how much damage here? 124? <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot of damage. I'm curious. I'm not going to move here. I just need to see if we're even going to have the angle behind this guy. I am worried that I won't have that. Because, yes, it's a, for it's a forceful knockback, but... There is a world. I see it. There's a green here. But it's it's kind of taken... Yeah, I don't know, actually. It kind of snaps me into that. As soon as it goes green, it snaps me in. It's so, like I could go here and forcefully throw him in this direction to hit these two. And, like, that's something, I guess. <clears throat> Um, or I can like I can just ignore this guy, right? Like that's the thing. I just don't see a, a clean way of of maneuvering him over there. So maybe I just maybe I just ignore him.
And maybe what I could do is... This has knockback. Let me just see. What's the drop looking like over here? So he has to basically be in the... Uh, just in front of where this box is. And that's not going to be enough. I could redraw it to add forceful if I had those, but I don't. And the quick blast isn't really going to benefit me here. Because I can't really finish anybody off. Uh, my surgical strike... Can be gained from the Holy Flame and the Slash. And then I pretty much put all of it into this guy, right? 158. We would have it. We would have enough damage to do that. Thirty-five plus seventeen is forty-two, fifty-two. So that would take him down to 106, and then we would have enough with the chain of four to all in on this guy. And then I still have a card play after that. Um, and he's the only one targeting the hunter, so that's kind of okay, I think, that we don't restore health here. Just making sure that my calculations are correct. And actually, I'm, I might not even need to... Hold on. If I send him into this box, he's going to take a lot more damage. I actually think that it would be better for me to use my move, knock him into this. I'm going to knock him into the one that's getting protected. I do love that that's an option. You had your chance to escape. Love the effort. Blade told me to mention your mother. Apparently <laughs> she's promiscuous. Blade told me to mention your mother. Okay, so now surgical strike uh, if I use three of them on this guy, that's not going to be enough. I'd have to use all four, unless I do some damage with the Holy Flame. Um, the question is, it, is it just better for me to heal and play it a little safer? And just use my Surgical Strike all on this guy? Because the only other thing is, I put, I put my last Surgical Strike here for 31 damage. Which, I mean, it's 31 damage. It's nice, but it's not changing anything. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I will take the heal. Play it a little safer. Child, I fear the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Um and then we go 1 2 Wait. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, no, we do this because I need I need to spend the heroism on it. So yeah, surgical strike, one. Oh, is Iron Man gonna stay in this area? I don't like that. Hold on, I still have a card play after, and this has knockback. I do feel like. I'm not going to do this yet, but that will be enough to take him out if I stay in this position. Okay, so we're okay. I just figured Surgical Strike would move me out of there, but I think he's just going to go up, do his shots, and then come back down. One, two, three, and I need the last one. Or, or, I chain to this. And he looks like he's down. Well, I think they're. Well, yeah, he might be at that. So this would be. <laughs> I do. I just wish I could see the numbers, so I don't have to do the math. 
So this would be 93 damage. So this would take him down to 13, which means the box kill won't be enough to do that. So yeah, I'm just going to finish him. Goodbye. Okay, and maybe his green circle showed there on the last Flying one. Mechanical combat suit almost seems like cheating. Um. Okay. This guy is gonna do days. I don't really need to take this guy. And I can't redraw this to add uh, knockback. But I could just play it to draw an Iron Man card, you know? Or I can get the KO here. Which doesn't really matter. Or I can give block to somebody like Strange. Because we're going to take a daze here anyway. You know what? Let's do it like that. And it's going to generate heroism. And then Strange may have an angle to kick this thing into these guys. My humble thanks. No. He doesn't have that. We do have this for 20, but that's not going to do anything anyway. All right, I think that's pretty good. I guess I could throw the box, but I think we just save all the heroism here. Get out of there. If those pallets weren't in the way, that that becomes a, well, actually our positioning behind there wasn't going to be something we could do anyway. So the pallets are not we needed like a we needed like a knockback in any direction type of situation, you know? Like a oh, like a whip. <laughs> like a whip. So he's only dazed for one, which is uh quite nice. This guy's immune to knockback. Oh, yep, that's right. Uh let's ditch this. Astral meditation. Restores combat items. Uh, are we going to use combat items here? I don't think so. Not right now. Setting up for that hero combo would be quite nice. Which I could do if I just healed Iron Man. And this will overheal. And that will draw some additional cards for us. Walk in the light. Okay. We got the four heroism now. Um, these guys are both targeting the full health hunter, which isn't really uh, too much of a problem here. But we just need to put as much damage in as we possibly can. So if I go hero combo for 86... That's okay. I won't be able to play the axe, even with the two heroism, because I'll be short. These things with the knockbacks don't help at all. Astral Meditation, I'm going to ditch. Oh! Is that right? Well, this is chain five now. So that's more damage than the hero combo. So I guess we do this. It's 150 damage. Um yeah, so there's no there's no landing circle for for uh for Iron Man on surgical strike. Huh. There's no other thing I can do here to modify this, right? Not really. I'm saving this for a special occasion. That's gonna break his protection too, so now that opens up some of the knockbacks. Wonders of modern technology. That opens up some of the knockbacks. 
We're coming in with a powerful attack here. Where's this going to end us up? Same spot. This one's crit, so we might as well use that. Uh, then I can kick this and I can use my shove after and we probably get rid of the second guy with all of that. Take long. Tony Tone. Tony Baloney. I am impressed. Okay, I do like I like how that's looking, so I at least am taking one out. Strange can do the knock back here. It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. And then uh, we'll do this. We're going to take a powerful attack from that guy, but can't be avoided. All right. I have a hero combo available. But I would need to play uh, two. Oh well. Who is the hero combo with? Is the hunter involved? Because if so, it's not. So all I need, actually, is uh, two skill cards here. I need two skill cards into the heroic combo. And actually, this skill card will make it possible. But that's not a skill card. So, I don't love that. Uh, we do have we do have a knockback as well for a little bit of extra damage. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we go blessing. We go mark target, and we go uh, hero combo, and then he dies from the vulnerable. I'm glad. Interesting tactic. Let's try this. A gift from ancient traditions. Love that. This will work. It's the Forge Bros. So done it. Excellent work. That's that's at least a two star, right? Guys, that felt at least a two star. Which we really needed. That was that we had some good flow happening there. Oh! It's about time. Oh, does that ever feel nice? Look at all those essences. Oh my god, the rare coils, the gloss, it's all there. It's all and you know what? Everybody contributed. Um <laughs> I love the so the, sh the sisterhood of the Vishanti. All the dudes out there. Uh, we're going to make that. Yeah, we're keeping it. I am absolutely keeping it. Very nice. Okay. Big mission. Big mission. We needed that. But yeah, we could... Things were flowing. A couple of those really amazing surgical strikes. Oh, man. All right, one more mission with the hunter. We got some light balance there. Ugh, gross. But like, what are you gonna? Sometimes I, that's just what I need to do right now. I just need to play the cards that I have. Can I help you? It looks like you can. Hunter, I need your help. Oh, you need my help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. Okay. I'm obviously in. What's a surprise party? I have no idea what that is. Right. I bet that meant musket ambush in your time. 
On Magic's birthday, everyone else will hide in a room. When I lead her there, you jump out and shout, Surprise! Then we eat cake. Okay. With the exception of cake, that is exactly like a musket ambush. <laughs> That's why I like you, Hunter. You're creepy, but informative. What do you need me to do? Nothing complicated. I don't need you to hunt special ingredients for a cake or anything like that. If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take <laughs> a huge weight off my shoulders. You just want me to talk to everyone? What about the Avengers? Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. That you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? I mean... <laughs> I don't want to offend her. To have friends do that for me... It is a wonderful thought. You should have just left it at Truly to have friends. Having friends at all is a welcome no. change from my youth. Yeah, no kidding. That's it's good. hard to make friends when you're on the run. That's good. Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the abbey. We'll make it work. That is all I had. I'm good for now. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. All Gucci, I guess. Okay. We're almost at level 2 with Nico. I honestly did not see that coming from the beginning, but here we are. And so you actually slept in that thing. <laughs> that was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in LA. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Uh, never mind that. It's a pocket is, dimension, guys. This is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. <laughs> Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. Like what? I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and Pete? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. Nice. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. Looks like Tony's son. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? I mean, I guess that's a pretty big deal for somebody like Spider-Man, right? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint <laughs> anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. He is jacked, though. I was gonna say, in his Spider-Man suit, like, there's abs and stuff, and then here, he, like, he's still jacked. Impressed. Beneath your jesting lies a formidable warrior, Peter Parker. That is what matters most. Yeesh. I just took off my mask, Hunter. Maybe you should try doing the same. Speaking of... 
Now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. Okay. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? Absolutely. I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Uh, well... <laughs> A small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. <laughs> she, uh, believed voice me for some reason. So, how about you? get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? Hmm. I am the result of a union that should not have been possible. Locked in an eternal struggle that not even death dare end. Whatever hand designed my destiny is far beyond my understanding. I've been in life and death battles with Doc Connors and Octavius. At one point, I considered each of them friends. Mentors. It might not be as crazy as what you've been through, but sometimes it makes you wonder why. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? <laughs> Caretaker has always handled the strategy. I prefer a more hands-on approach. Hey, whatever works for you. But if I'm honest, Hunter, I saw the way the others looked at you during the fight. Maybe you're more of a leader than you think. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean, how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. I still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been... hunting? <laughs> At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. Uh, that is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discount sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Gotta get that cheap Ooh, breakfast. I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. Wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk cool. about that little adventure See, like, here. stuff like this is so Long neat for short, someone like me. I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Totes. Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be <laughs> yours, huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lilith made her choice long ago, though it pains me to say this. She is no longer my mother, but another monster to slay. That's a hard way to look at it. When I see Venom, all I can see is Eddie. And the symbiote that saved my life on a few occasions. Perhaps that is what Lilith is counting on. Look, I get it. The monster that looks like your friend is still a monster. I watch plenty of zombie movies, okay? 
Still doesn't mean you have to become that which you were hunting, if you ask me. I knew that philosophy minor was going to pay off. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Well, don't open them all anyway, the way. Um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Okay, so we do have a hangout that we can do. Uh, Friendship-wise, where are we at? Uh, 9 on 15 there. 8 on 20 with Strange. Magic's pretty low. I don't Have we taken her on any missions? We can actually check that, I think. No. Zero missions. Okay. Well. I mean, I suppose if I can get Strange to two, that's... All hail the conquering heroes. Someone toss us some Pretty good. I feel like he would... Oh, look at this. We also are getting some resilience here. Okay. Let's stargaze. I feel like he would like space. And stars. Of all the enemies we could be facing, I'm grateful Lilith is our foe. Excuse me? It is reassuring to hear that from the Sorcerer Supreme. Your flattery is less subtle than Thor's <laughs> entendres, but That's cool. uh, I'll take it. Lilith is a powerful foe, to be certain, but for once, we know our enemy. Her history, her goals, many of her capabilities, but most of all, we know she can die. It did not take the first time. Per your earlier blandishments, this time you count a Sorcerer Supreme amongst your allies. How could we possibly fail? Good point. Drinking goblet adorned with small gemstones. I mean, why not? He liked it. Let's endeavor to meet again soon. We got a rare sweater. And closing time common outfit for him. Seven friendship gained. Okay. So, resilience is at 1.2% chance to just straight up resist a negative status effect. One in a hundred. Great. It's better than nothing, I guess. Ooh. That is... That is pretty nice. Not dark enough for me, though. Not dark enough. Closing time. Not bad. Ooh. So there's his default. This is like a black version, I guess. Do it. Okay. Ah, I gotta get some magic worked in here for sure. Gotta, gotta do it. Um, couple of things I'm actually gonna do tonight before we sleep. Um, there was... A couple things I noticed out when we were exploring that I need to grab. Allegory of the Transient's Life is a common uh, masterwork painting. And I'm pretty sure... I'm looking... There's a stream somewhere... That had a... Uh, a haven for us. I believe it's back in this area. Let's check the weather here. What's our What's our moon looking like? Clear sky, waxing moon. Okay. Oh, back here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab the lazy valley. Once we start spending the havens, we will see enormous friendship boosts. Um, and I think we probably have all of this them. This is which sign? That we have access to right now. A glyph scrawled in bone chalk. It's meaning known only to the witch who wrote it. What level are we? 
right now is the hunter. Seven. Okay. Is there anything back here? Nope. Just another little witchy hideout, hey? Okay. There's a couple of other quick things that we can grab. Let's head through here. Uh, the altar has a sacrificial bowl over here that we need to get into. So all of those artifacts that we get from the, uh, the artifact cases that we turn into strange now have a bit more of a purpose. Here's a masterwork. And this is Agatha's Altar. So we, I stumbled upon this in my exploring last time. Uh, so we've got a rare bowl, a common book, and a common knife. This is not something I've had a ton of experience with, but... Well, this looks like it belongs here. We can place things in there. I wonder if there's any hints along the side of the bowl. I'm curious, actually. Okay, so it doesn't change depending on what we put in. Almost as if it were meant to be here. But then we can blast a word of power. It seems my offering was accepted. Okay, we got a key. Not, not the greatest for a rare artifact. So, apparently, there's different combinations of words of power that you can use, uh, and different combinations of words of power with different artifacts to get different results. And I think you can only do this once per day because you'll notice the bowl is not lit any longer. Uh, so, fair fair play. Fair play there. There's also something in uh, the Dreamer's Descent that I want to grab. And I believe we have all the dolls. So, yeah. Just one second. Where is it? Where are we coming from? Okay, we have a faded journal page here. Wanda's journal. They stopped tending to this grave some time ago. I guess I'm the only one that comes out here these days, so I get it. It's so sad, though. It was hundreds of years ago, but I can feel so much sorrow in this place. But a loss like that, a husband and a father, that doesn't just go away. Maybe that's why everything happened the way it did. Okay. So, yes, we can now place the dolls... So we have the Caretaker doll, the Lilith doll, and the Hunter doll here. I've never seen this before, so I'm very pumped. Oh, you don't say. Oh, neat. I'll take that. I should have known you'd wind up here eventually. You were somehow always here as a child. If only I had known him. And still you masked even this from me. My own father's grave. Oh, wow. It wasn't you I was hiding it from. <sighs> I've been making a lot of apologies to you lately. Now, they probably don't mean that much. But I am sorry, Hunter. Lilith's relationship with your father went against our ways, our purpose. Or so I believed at the time. It was the Elder Gods themselves who first breathed life into us. Human notions like falling in love couldn't possibly be part of their plan. And then you met Agatha. If only I'd realized it sooner. I might have been a little kinder towards him. Especially at the end. What happened? A great sickness came upon this area just before you were born. Your father was one of the first to fall. With all your power, Gregor you, Mar, you could not save him? Lilith was a gifted healer, but this was no ordinary plague. The corruption went beyond his physical body. In the end, there was nothing we could do. What did Lilith do? She did what anyone would have done. She grieved. But in her grief, she lost herself, and her grief turned into anger. Is that when you took me from her? It wasn't long after that. 
things started to fall apart before my eyes. I couldn't see another way out but to run. The plague that turned her into the mother of demons? No, this was something else. But cut from the same cloth, hmm. your mother was no longer the woman I knew. The sister I had fought alongside for centuries. She was gone. I have never heard you talk this way before, Sarah. It's hard to walk the grounds here without churning up so many old memories. Maybe now you understand why I don't venture out here that often anymore. You were not affected by the plague? We were all affected, whether we were among the sick or not. I'm sure there was a time when your mother and I both would have just as soon joined the dead than continued to watch the villagers suffer. I cannot imagine you ever reaching that point. Lilith may have been the most skilled herbalist in the New World. I saw her perform near miracles with the potions she concocted from the plants in her garden. She was consumed by the idea of finding a cure. But she never found one. No, despite her efforts, nothing ever worked. I can see how that would be a dark time for both of you. With darker times still to come. This, like, learning all the stuff about the caretaker and our father and our just our whole backstory is, uh, I, I really enjoy that. It's the, I'm intrigued. Thank you, Sarah. Your timing may need work, but I appreciate the honesty. Anything for you, Hunter. Anything. If only it were always this okay. to bring a family together. Oh, and it gives you a key, too, so that's, that's... Really cool if it, obviously it's going to give us the chest. What? Tell me about my father. Believe it or not, you can thank your father for those good looks of yours. <laughs> there is a striking resemblance. Well, that's obvious. I only have the faintest memory of him. What was he like? He was honest. A working man, you could say. Authentic. Of course, I still didn't like him. But that wasn't really his fault. I'm old enough to admit that now. But he loved my mother? He loved her, and she was smitten with him. As the story goes, they were happy together. For a time. Until I came along? You were an unexpected gift, but a welcome one. Your father was very proud. <sighs> I wish I could talk with him now. I know that feeling all too well, kiddo. That's tough. Like the, you can tell he immediately goes to blame himself. Spider-Man rare palette, epic solid eye color, and a, a combat bonus. Start the mission with four redraws. Ooh, that's gonna be really nice because we want to take Iron Man on our next mission, anyways. And a face prop of justice. This is very Deadpool-y. I don't, I don't mind it. Could be kind of cool in combat, actually. Eyes, we could go golden. Oh, man. Do we go full golden eyes? Or is that a bit, like, is that a bit too, too sketch? I could really lean in with the red eyes. I kind of like the white. Because that's almost a bit more demonic. It plays off the hair quite well. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Alright, I'm pumped. Uh, I also want to see what that was for Spidey. So his default color palette... Or his default suit is this, but the color palette. Okay, pretty good. Flame, but I feel like if I'm going to do that, I might as well just go Demon Spider. Keep it where it was at. Okay, uh, speaking of chests, there's a couple other things. Where are we on the map right now? So, I'm going to go out to the Standing Stones. Because on my previous adventures, I noticed... But there was a couple of pickups down here.
that we could grab. Illustrated Mycology. So this is a recipe book for minor heroic essences or a rare gift. And was there something else? Yeah, Return of the Cattle, a masterwork there. Do we have any reagents chilling in the area? I don't see any. Okay, and then lastly, I have an unopened... Uh, an unopened chest back here. And we got four keys, so... I, I do try to save the keys as much as I can. Armor stand. Wings, upper face prop, and straight up applying two vulnerable to an enemy that has block. And it's free. That's actually really nice. Okay. Um, I, I think maybe strategically we should open up, like we shouldn't open up multiple, at least rare chests or maybe any chests in a day because, uh, if they give you a combat bonus, you're probably not getting two. You know what I'm saying? So magic wants to talk. She's probably like, Hey, uh, you know, I'm on the team, right? Like, you know, you know, I'm on the team. Can I play? I have something for you. <laughs> oh, this is to give her the oh. ingredients. All right, fair enough. Here you are. Good. This will help the ritual. I wonder what happens if we don't give the ingredients and they, do they try the ritual or not? Okay. Agatha in the library, which is totally over here. Hey, good chat out there. Word of mouth travels fast in these parts. Others came to the grove not knowing what was what, but knowing there is danger in staying. Me and the boy and them inside the cave in no time. Oh, had them inside the cave in no time. Pulling some logs and vines over to cover the entrance. I had them all move to the back of the cave, keep into the shadows so I could keep an eye out for torches coming our way. I could hear the misses trying to calm the young ones while the others kept silent. Then we waited for the day to break. This is 1692. Cauldron experimentations. This is one KG beast indeed. Dr. Druid was not kidding when he stated the difficulties tied to the imp-like creature bound to this cauldron. It appears that the energies bound within the forge only serve to further agitate the creature within the cauldron. So there's like some anti-synergy there. June 10th, 88. My initial experiment proved to be ineffective. A protection ward I had created to shield the abbey instead released a noxious black cloud which hung over the ground for days. June 13th, 88. So three days later. I moved the cauldron this afternoon to just outside the abbey and attempted to purify the springs that ran off from the waterfall and into the yard. Instead, I managed to release a geyser of flames that shot a good 50 yards into the air. A most unfortunate event. The flame blast incinerated many of my favorite willow trees. Oh. Rip. Fragments of raw earth. Hematite is commonly used for grounding and stability, while the lodestone's magnetic qualities were meant to attract good fortune regarding love and relationships. Meteorite, with its association in the celestial realm, could enhance astral projection and served as an excellent amplifier for dream and spirit journeying. Feeling well today, dear? Is that meant to be an offering bowl on the altar? Interesting magic, isn't it? Were you able to make it work? Yeah. Yes, it responded to my voice. Excellent, my dear. You always exceed expectations. Try using different combinations of words and offerings. You never know what you might get. You are welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So, you will be there in spirit? Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit. Okay, nothing new there. Oh, hello! We'll take a Wondagore Everbloom, absolute. And I think this is the same one about Dreamer's Descent until we uh, finish up the challenge, right? Okay, 
It is officially our bedtime. Good girl, Charlie. Okay, cool. Spider-Man made a post. Just want to thank everyone for being cool about the whole secret identity thing. In one day, I've more than doubled the people I know, and it still feels incredibly odd. We get it. It's part of the business. And if it does get out, I could be convinced to put the genie back in the bottle once. How? You got mad hacks? Mad hacks. What are you? Television for old people? <laughs> I don't know what kind of accent that is. I have a magical staff that can rewrite reality. You have a what? My web shooter's pale in comparison. Hey, your web shooters are cool. You got time to show me how you put them together? Sure, you got a workshop or something? Not yet, but we could find some space. Hashtag get a room. <laughs> also, uh, Nico says, we need to talk about Tony Stark. He's walking around the Abbey like he owns the place. <laughs> Talking just to the Midnight Suns. Don't give him any ideas. I didn't want to be the first to say it. He tossed out the coffee maker I brought and installed some kind of automatic espresso machine. I think he has an AI inside. He ate the last chewy bears. He did not replace them. Culinary offenses aside, I'm talking about all the junky jam to the forge. You want to freebound demons? That's how you freebound demons. <laughs> Tony. First off, you forgot to use the exclude superlink user option when you sent this post. This means I can see what you wrote. I'll assume it was an accident and not passive aggression. As for the rest of it, Blade, I was thinking of getting a little place by the Cape, or maybe one just off the coast of Asgard. But they do say mystically... Raised haunted woods of Transia have great resale value. Robbie, the inside of your coffee maker has more toxic sludge than a Roxxon plant. You'll get it back once it's completely disinfected and the lab coats identify the new life form growing inside. Magic, my mistake. The Avengers buy chewy bears in bulk. A replacement palette arrives tomorrow. And Nico, yeah, because I woke up this morning and thought, wouldn't it just be a hoot to poke a trapped demon with a titanium stick? You think I want... You think I want to be down there? The demon's not so bad once you get to know him, but strange is a whole other story. Some people just can't read a room. Know what I mean? Anyone? Hello? Wi-Fi down again or something? <laughs> of course. Thanks for helping out with the party. Got to talk to Robbie next. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I will talk to Robbie. Okay. Cool. Talk to Robbie about the birthday. No prob, Bob. <laughs> Don't tell me to calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. Uh, and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider in a year or two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. She is... P.O.'d right now. <laughs> Absolutely P.O. question for you. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. Well, they're not going anywhere. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? Oh, Blade's a little insecure. We stand in defiance against a billion-year-old prophecy set in motion by the most twisted and powerful of the Elder Gods. I should hope that counts for something. Yeah, definitely been through a lot together. I mean, I still can't get over the way she lit up when she absorbed that crazy-ass Faustus bomb. <laughs> like the sun. She's talking about Captain Marvel. Ah, so this is about <laughs> Carol. Of course it is. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? 
that I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? <laughs> oh, he's going to get so hurt. I have no doubt Carol also appreciates what you bring to the team. I hope so. I try to do my best for my allies. That's at least a plus two. Come on. Well, I am sure she is also impressed with your efforts and has noticed you as much as you have clearly noticed her. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? <laughs> it never happened. I will add it to the list. <sighs> oh, my Thank guy. You quality time, Hunter. It is a treasure. Oh, he also has a, a hero request. Hey, can I ask a favor? Blade calls you over, leans in, speaking quietly. He's Okay, I thought he was talking about Carol again. You've known her for longer than any of us, so I have to ask. Do you trust Caretaker? I mean, like, fully trust her? Well, gotta go here. Kate, Caretaker has her secrets, so do I, and so do you. Let's try to remember who the real enemy is. That's actually a really fair answer for the dark balance side. Thanks, Hunter. Oh, hello, baby! Huh. The Hunter's choices have granted him with mastery over the darkness within. A new collar is available for the Hunter to equip, granting a powerful passive ability in combat. Continue earning Dark Balance points to unlock further rewards. That is beautiful. So, we can equip Callers anytime outside of combat. They grant powerful passive rewards when the Hunter plays certain card types. The Obsidian Caller. So, the next Hunter attack card play deals double damage. And the way that you get this going is playing three dark cards in combat. <laughs> it's slightly... It's, all, it's only slightly problematic for us because, well, as you can see. Um, I do feel like at this difficulty, the heals are very nice. Um... Even the Dark Heal, very good. Whip, we're going to keep. Bands of Fire, the Heroic Knockback in any directions. Maybe I could switch this out for Wild Strike. As I was saying, we had brought this out of our deck earlier. Just to have more chance of playing um, damage cards or, or, or dark cards. But then we also want to consider, okay... We don't want to get, we don't want to spend a double on Quick Slash or Slash. So, Holy Flame or Wild Strike getting doubled? Yeah, excellent. You know? But even if that Caller, it's any attack, right? Yeah, it's any attack. So, I also kind of feel like maybe we keep this card in and replace it with, like, Slash for the Forceful Knockback. And that way, does it say Hunter attack cards? Yeah, it does actually. Okay, so that, that also changes things. I mean, it's not going to be perfect right now. That's just, that's our life, okay? So this card won't even benefit from it. Uh, so I am going to take that out and we'll put the slash back in. So the only one that would benefit is Holy, F Holy Flame or Wild Strike. Um, but... It's very likely that Wild Strike will need to be played before that comes around again. So it's kind of weird. I guess I could kind of maybe manipulate that by going uh, Holy Gift into Wild Strike. If we're going to set up to, to get the Caller going. That's an option. It's what we got right now. So 20 right on the dot. We take Hunt. that. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course. Let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. Okay. To the forge. Oh. Carol? Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? 
And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. <laughs> and what exactly is so important that it takes precedence over this? Look, the Avengers have been spread pretty thin lately oh. now that Hydra's running around the world hyped up on your mother's gamma juice. To be honest, I don't have an answer for you. Wish I did. And not just on this one. I'm gonna come out and say this. I hate I've Blade. I've a bad just feeling kidding. about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? You should not be afraid of this power. Afraid? Seriously? Look, Hunter, I've seen a lot in my time, on this world and beyond. Alien death squads, power-mad semi-omniscient despots, dad. <laughs> Even once had to stop a plot to blow up the sun. So yeah, I know a thing or two about overcoming fear. Thanks. My visions are chaotic at best and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. Oof. Really driving the friendship with Carol down with these uh, Dark Hunter choices. You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Well, why the exclamation Perhaps point then? Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. <laughs> the gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I can scream. Well? If you want a seat at the table, sometimes you need to simply take it. Yeah. My dad said something like that to me once. Oops. <laughs> he was willing to do anything to get his seat. Thing is, sometimes standing is a lot less bloody. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're going to rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun, cone of silence, okay? Scout's yeah, honor. Good vent. <laughs> Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> yeah, that, that was great for us. Yeah, that was great for our, our whole vibe there. Excellent. I just hope this is what Okay, you teamwork tactics. Hunter. I have a feeling I'm not going to have the gold to buy this upgrade. I have 62 credits. Maybe. Okay, so the only thing I can do right now is mystical healing, which is actually great cuz I think getting into the secondary stats there in addition to rapidly healing inj injuries could be excellent. Um so yeah, cool. Then we need to go into another mission with Iron Man. Uh we need to craft some combat items. To get a second slot, I think would be great. Gamma coils. Hey, Hunter. Some rare ones. Let's go, baby. How's that for quality workmanship? Ooh. Ooh. That's very nice. You gotta have the heroism for it. But I love that it's not a card play. So that's the trade-off. More heroism in the next Iron Man card is not discarded. Dark Blessing. All Upgrade all cards in your hand until they're played or discarded. Oh, I take 52 damage? So this gives me the plus version of all the cards in my hand. Big Tony's Forge of Mystery. We never close. Agamotto's Gaze here. And another Surgical Strike. Okay, so I think Surgical Strike is the nice grab here for sure because it makes this cheaper um, precision upgrades into redraw to reduce heroism cost by one that's not bad dark blessing upgrades into 
all cards in your hand for the rest of the mission. See, like, that's cool. That's cool, but it's just the 52 damage. I, I have some healing and stuff to offset that, but... Um, his deck right now has Heads Up, which is the block. Mark Target Plus. Two Surgical Strikes. One that we could upgrade. So Surgical Strike Plus. And then I guess I would get into... I, I wish you could see these in here. It would just be very convenient if I could hover over here and it would put the card here as well. Um, but Blast. Blast you can like redraw to add knockback or something, right? So it's like, it's fine. Uh, but I guess I could throw in another if heroic card. If this thing behind card. me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm quitting. The thing is, um, it's going to make him very heroic heavy. But to be fair, if we upgrade one of the surgical strikes to be cheaper, then that's cool. But I also do need some dark hunter cards. I wonder what happens if you have... So if you play Dark Blessing and your hand's full of already upgraded cards, does it just do nothing? Like, it'd be cool if that added a mod. You know? That we don't even have access to yet. But I don't know if it works like that. Um, what if we look at this? So, Slash Plus, Holy Flame, Wild Strike. This is the one that adds Vulnerable. Quick Slash Plus. We do need to kind of have some of those. Uh, the Dark Heal. That's for healing someone else, and we still take damage. We have one Heal Plus. We have a Holy Gift. I, like, is this not a bit of a trap? I almost wonder if I this is like something I that I... This, process and take myself this is obviously here. really good. Like, the, the upgraded version, right? So maybe I even... I could argue that if I just take this, then I could craft another one. And then upgrade it. Um, but at some point, at some point in your playthrough, d this card basically will do nothing, I think. I feel like that card at some point does nothing, because all of your cards will eventually upgrade. You would hope. I think I'm going to take Precision. I know this is a dark card, but I just... I feel like... Unless I know that it adds something after cards are upgraded, investing in this is probably not needed right now. And I guess we'll see. If this card comes up later, cool. Then then we can grab it again. Um, Agamotto's Gaze, reminder, it adds now 10 damage. So this could be better later when Strange levels up more and that gets more damage. But we're going to take the two Tony cards. Which, obviously, he's going to love. <laughs> Another project? So, Bands of Fire upgrades into more damage. Alright, here's the plan. I'll hit this thing with the big Oh, hammer, neat! Okay, cool. So, I didn't realize this. Um, That's all I can for some reason, the crafting of abilities... No materials analysis, no tactical I thought we had to pick nothing. them. They just, I think, nope. just have to show up. Hands -on today. I just thought we had to choose stuff them. And see how it goes. You do your thing, so that's kind of nice. If I wanted oh, to make two of these, I, I could, I could do it. Projects. So that's that's cool. This would take thirty-five heroic to upgrade. It is a light hunter card, though. So at some point, that's gonna go. But right now, fifty-two damage is a lot of damage. So I'm gonna take that. Your craftsmanship must be improving, Tony. And then the upgrade here, reduce heroism by redrawing. The upgrade here also just grants plus two redraws. Very nice synergy. Uh, the restore is very nice. The restore all health is even better. Uh, we have one of these. We have the plus version. So I'd have to actually craft two of these and then combine them to have two of so them. I don't know if I need that just yet. Experience with smithing? And this could change to three recasts. Where do you think I got the suit? 
which I kind of like. I think I'll hold off for now, but... I'm here if you need me. Okay. Vampiric Essence is 25. We have a lot of uh, attack essence. Gain a move for free. I guess, like, this could be good situationally if you know what kind of fight you're dealing with. Like, against the, the Fallen Venom fight where he's chucking stuff, an extra move could be good. Um, I could just use a couple skill things here just to... I just want to hit soon. our research progress so I can get the extra slot. This will do nicely. The taunt could be good in certain scenarios. Select a hero to cure could be interesting. Uh, these are out of stock now. Let's do an agility serum then. Always better to be prepared. And I'll do one more vampiric essence. All right. So now that. The prerequisites are done there. Who needs me? Caretaker. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? <laughs> Yikes. I do not know. I did not hear anything that sounded like an argument. But you were in the common room when the voices were raised. I was uh, totally Are busy. Are you really trying to make me believe you didn't hear anything? Fine. I can see you're not going to be <clears throat> forthcoming with me. No matter. We have more consequential conflicts to address. As you were, Hunter. God, she scares the hell out of me. <laughs> she scares the hell out of me. Okay, yard upgrade. I can for 50. Teamwork tactics. So heroes don't take damage when you knock uh, knock enemies into them, and they'll actually do more damage. So that's Good cool. Good addition. Now let's get to work. Happily take that. Ready to work? I'm going to take Iron Man again. And we're going to upgrade the bands of fire. 80 heroic. Woo. Not everyone wants my advice. But they're gonna get it either way. All right. Um, the only other one I could have upgraded here was Surgical Strike, which is heroic, and I'm one short. So, is there a heroic sitting on somebody that I'm not using that I could? Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded this. <laughs> I, c I can salvage it back for 95. But it's that is a lot of damage. I think we're going to replace the slash. Okay, so I, I still need to find somebody with a heroic, maybe. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to salvage either of those because they're both super solid. Uh, you know what we can check, actually? We can check the cauldron to see if I have, like, a minor heroic essence upgrade. The rising rings of oh, it's just you. Do we have anything in here? Oh, we do! Okay. Ten heroic essence. Let's go. Lovely dear, you're a natural. I know, I know. Okay. So now the question is going to be. Yeah, no, this is fine. 
So now topple and falling traps deal more damage. So the falling stuff already does a ton. Now those are going to deal an insane amount. Uh, we get a combat bonus for this. Uh, who's coming on the next mission? This is... I always want to start by looking at the mirror table. So this is a Carol mission if we go for the story. Rare Gamma Coil and an Intel Cache. Enemies there for rare blueprint, blueprints. Intel Cache here to destroy the device. Credits here to protect a Hydra device with Blade. This would at least give us a little bit of uh, action with magic. If we did that before we go into the bill comes due. So... Let's do that, because magic we haven't even taken out one time Good yet. Day, Hunter. Doesn't mean I'm going to spar with her, but I might. I kind of want to look at friendship here, too. Okay. Both pretty low. Um, having a combat bonus for her could be really nice for the story mission. So, I think let's do that. My lucky day, huh? Let's do it. 3 XP. Hand size increased by 1 for 2 turns. Very nice, actually. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, we're going to take a break here. Um, I know a lot of this Abbey stuff is long, and some of you guys may not be into it. If you watched to the end, obviously you're into it, because some of these episodes are like 80 or 90 What's minutes. What's up, Big H? Um, I could, in theory, just hypercut between all of, like, any downtime where I'm just going to grab regents and stuff, but I feel like that downtime isn't even that much. It's just that there's a lot of conversations to do, a lot of lore to read, a lot of this and that, so... I know a lot of you guys that are used to my content enjoy that, so it's cool and I'm happy, I appreciate it. Uh, it might not be for some of you, but you can skip around as well. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna do... Um, I'd like to at least do one side mission between story missions. I'll probably cap myself at doing two to kind of keep things going and unlocking more characters and stuff. But uh, we're going to go to the magic mission because we haven't spent any time with her. So we do need some intel. We do need to run some more hero ops. So we'll get that going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.